For the latest update, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. My name is Dr. Mahmoud Aringzeb. I'm Professor of Surgery at Khyber Teaching Hospital in Peshawar. Um, additionally, I'm Chief Executive Officer of the Postgraduate Medical Institute in Peshawar, uh, Khyber Pukhtunkhwa Province. Hemorrhoids are vascular cushions which contain a mixture of both arteries and veins and it also has a lot of elastic tissue, smooth muscle and collagen. So thus, the simple thing is to refer to them as vascular cushions. Now, they are actually a normal part of the human anatomy and are even present in the fetus. And the purpose of this hemorrhoidal complex is that it, pre pre it prevents and it safeguards the lower end of the anal canal from the passage of hard stool. As I said, they're present in utero in the fetus as well. Now, they become pathological or they're referred to as hemorrhoidal disease once they start causing symptoms. Abhi Marham app download kare aur kisi bhi masle ke liye 2000 se zaid specialist doctor se online audio ya video call ke zariye baat kare. By far the most common symptom of hemorrhoids is fresh red bleeding PR, meaning that every time a patient defecates, there is blood in the stool. And this is particularly conspicuous after the passage of stool. And it is also noteworthy that the blood is bright, bright red, as if you've cut your finger. It is not dark venous blood, but bright red and at times it can spurt as well. The other presentation of hemorrhoids is a feeling of incomplete defecation. That is a common uh, symptom that patients come with. They also complain that they, once they strain, there is a certain swelling that they can feel um, in the perianal region. Now, if a patient presents with pain at defecation, then it is l most likely that it is not hemorrhoidal disease. Or if it is hemorrhoidal disease at all, it's a complicated form. Abhi Marham app download kare aur kisi bhi masle ke liye 2000 se zaid specialist doctor se online audio ya video call ke zariye baat kare. Hemorrhoids, that they make no attempts at self-treatment or to be treated by lay people. The message that I want to pass through this interview and through the session today is that it is of paramount importance that you seek proper medical attention. Be it to your family physician who can then further refer you to a surgeon or just go to a surgeon directly. The important thing for the surgeon to do is to determine that is the patient actually suffering from hemorrhoidal disease or not because surprisingly 50% of the time what patients think are hemorrhoids are actually not hemorrhoids. So a clinical examination and evaluation is very very important before any type of treatment is instituted. Abhi Marham app download kare aur kisi bhi masle ke liye 2000 se zaid specialist doctor se online audio ya video call ke zariye baat kare. Herbal products and home remedies have been available for hemorrhoidal disease because it's so common since time immemorial, probably before the time of the pharaohs also. Uh, again, it's very important that through this talk, I condemn and discourage people attempting to use home remedies before they've had their problem properly examined by a medical practitioner. So the message that I want to pass is that they must be discouraged and they can be used possibly after your medical consultation because they do act as a good adjunctive agent but not to be self-medicated. Uh, 
a proctoscopic examination is very very important this is preceded by a digital examination of the rectum now it's only through the proctoscopic examination that the surgeon can determine what stage the hemorrhoidal disease is at as we know there are four stages of this uh, disease and each one has a, a different management protocol or a strategy so unless a proctoscopy or even referred to as an anoscopy is performed the surgeon will not know what type of treatment to get and that will also build the confidence of the patient because he or she will know exactly at what stage their disease is and then can get the proper requisite treatment. Now if you go to any pharmacy and ask for any topical uh, applications um, regarding hemorrhoidal disease, um, you will be inundated with the number of products available. There are hundreds and thousands of them. Basically they contain uh, anti-inflammatory agents, they contain uh, local um, anesthetic. Uh, there are many, many recipes available. They do help to an extent. Um, because most hemorrhoidal disease only require medical treatment, dietary adjustment, lifestyle adjustments. Um, so I, we cannot dispel and totally uh, write off the creams available because I find that it does soothe and does improve the symptoms of patients. But they will be prescribed only after they are properly medically examined. I just want to state that there's always a delay in patients seeking uh, medical treatment for hemorrhoidal disease because there's some sort of a myth, number one, that discourages them from seeking medical attention that every person who presents with hemorrhoidal problems will end up having surgery. It's true, traditionally the surgery performed for hemorrhoidal disease used to be very, very painful and that was a major discouraging factor. But the truth is that 70% of patients presenting with hemorrhoidal disease do not require any form of surgery at all. But that will be decided once they meet the, their surgeon. Now, the options available if depend on the stage at which the disease is. Grade 1, 2 and most of grade 3 hemorrhoids do not require surgical treatment at all they can be managed medically so thus medical treatment is of paramount importance because that is what you will apply to the vast majority of patients then the adjunctive measures are that there has to be a change in the lifestyle there has to be a change in their dietary habits as well now when we come to the surgical options there have been advancements made lately so the classical operation for hemorrhoids is now becoming more or less obsolete because there is no doubt that it was a very painful operation. Um, today we have options like hemorrhoidal artery ligation which can be done um, practically pain free. Additionally we have um, something called a stapled hemorrhoidectomy in which the whole surgery is performed within the anal canal which is a pain-free area and the patients seem to uh, appreciate this procedure and as it carries much less pain. So there have been a lot of advances made in the surgical management of hemorrhoids as well and it is not as fearsome and as painful an outcome as it used to be in the past. अभी मरहम ऐप डाउनलोड करें और किसी भी मसले के लिए 2000 से ज़ायद स्पेशलिस्ट डॉक्टर से ऑनलाइन ऑडियो या वीडियो कॉल के जरिए बात करें। Now the take-home message for people that have symptoms related to hemorrhoids is first of all, are you sure you have hemorrhoids or do you have some other pathology related to the anorectal region? Now you can't determine that unless you are a doctor yourself. So number one. Please consult your family practitioner who will then refer you to a surgeon. The surgeon will tell you exactly what stage, 
first of all whether you have hemorrhoids or not and if you do have hemorrhoids at what stage they are and what are the different treatment options available I assure you that the surgeon that you consult will not be trigger happy and will not have a knife um, in his hand he will discuss or she will discuss the different treatment options with you and it is most likely that you will not require surgery at all um, your cultural attitudes your gender again should not prohibit you from seeking uh, medical attention and you will find that in over 70 percent of cases medical treatment alone would suffice